Good morning, everybody. It's Jane. And Mike. From Earth Care Farm. It's Wednesday here at the farm. Every Wednesday, we do a lot of record keeping for our compost piles. And I thought we'd show you what we do. I have this beautiful thermometer, a Rio temp thermometer. And it's got a, I, I think it's like two and a half or three feet foot probe. I always thought it was three, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I take temperatures of each batch. I take, I just sample five spots on each batch of compost. I put the probe all the way in and then I just wait to get the reading. And I'm looking to see that in our first uh, stage of composting, our thermophilic stage, we're reaching those thermophilic temperatures. So I know that those bacteria are doing their due diligence. Yeah, the heat is a byproduct of the metabolic activity of these microorganisms. It's their, um, their movement, their reproduction. Their eat, this is their food. They're eat, digesting this food, but that heat gives us um, a compost that won't have weed, seed, or disease spores. And that's the purpose of the record keeping to make sure that we are sterilizing weed, seed, and disease spores. I find that amazing that just those little bacteria just moving and shaking and, and digesting are sterilizing this product to the way that we don't have any weeds and diseases. Um, I just think that's the coolest thing. That's really working in harmony with nature. Yeah. So we take temperatures in five different spots of each batch. You can kind of see I mark each batch just simply with a flag. We're kind of tight on space, space so I don't have separate piles. We just have separate batch sections. And there was a question earlier, like if the temperatures we start to see when they're supposed to be hot, if they're starting to decline, it's a good sign that we need to turn the pile. As, yes, yeah. yeah. Once it, it will only, <laughs> When you mix the proper um, carbohydrate and protein, the carb proper CN ratio, uh, that's when the temperatures start to go up. And they go up within three days. But we find they normally stay up about three weeks and then they'll start to drop. And that's when we have to turn it so we can turn the outside in the pile hmm. so the uh, the weed, seed, and disease spores on the outside of the pile get turned in and it gets hot in. Yeah. And that's after about three weeks of it sitting there, in our case. So it's, it's usually my job to say, okay, the temperatures are starting to go down. That Now that's a good time to turn again so we can get those temps back up again. Yeah. Hi, Birdie. Um, and so I'm recording the temperatures. I'm also recording what goes into each batch from the, from the beginning, when it's being turned. Um, so the turn dates, and then I record this, the screen date, when we screened it, how long it matured for, and um, when we started selling it. So we can kind of trace back what went into that pile. This one was an extra good batch. You know, what did we do? You know, what were those temperatures? What were, what were those turn dates? And always trying to get it as consistent as possible. But we are working with nature, and uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a fine balance of art and science and Mother Nature doing her thing. We try to have the consistent CN ratio, but the materials vary based on the season. Mm. You know, in the fall you have more leaves, and this time of year we might have more wood chips or shavings. <laughs> so it varies uh, with the season what the ingredients are, but the, uh, the food for the microorganisms, they want a balanced diet, and that's mm -hmm. consistent. Yep. We name our batches. That was a, kind of the last thing I was going to mention. Um, they have a date but also a name. So we have B, St. Gertrude, Omi, Biscuit, Panther, and we're selling right now Big Booty Judy. If you're getting some fall <laughs> compost, you'll be getting a batch from Big Booty Judy. Um, it's kind of a rite of passage to get to name the piles here at Earth Care Farm. So that's kind of our system. We thought that would maybe be interesting to you. I don't know. <laughs> but we hope you, we appreciate you. We hope that you got some information today. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thank you so much.